Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just finished watching episode number 12 from season 2 of Outlander. Good episode, leading up to the season finale. Uh, we lost Colm in this episode. Two episodes earlier, of course, we lost Angus. And like I said in the previous reaction video, I thought in the next episode we were going to lose Rupert. But he survived. And now Colm has has died at his own hand. He asked Claire for something that would be his final pain relief and Claire gave it to him. And he wound up taking it and Claire told him that it would be just like going to sleep. And after he took it, apparently, well, I don't know if he took it during or, or if he took it before, Dougal came in and was talking to him and, and pretty much unburdening his soul or unburdening himself telling Colm about some things that he wanted to tell him. And, of course, when he turned to get Colm's response, Colm was already dead. So either Colm had taken it before Dougal got there, or maybe while Dougal was speaking. I don't know which the case was. So Colm has passed away. And, of course, in that episode, we also saw Black Jack Randall's brother, Alex. He passed away, but not before, asking Black Jack Randall, Jonathan or Johnny, I think he called him, to marry Mary Hawkins. And, of course, we saw that wedding. Now, Mary was already pregnant with Alex's baby, so Jamie really could have killed Black Jack Randall, and everything would have been fine, as far as Frank is concerned. Well, not necessarily fine, because, like Claire pointed out, uh, if Black Jack Randall had not married Claire, uh, not Claire, but if he hadn't married Mary, uh, Mary's life and, and Frank's right. ancestors would have had very different lives. So things probably would have turned out differently than they had. So Black Jack Randall marries Mary, and that pretty well secures Frank's future. So now at this point, Black Jack Randall is, is fair game. Jamie can feel free to kill him. Or maybe Murtaugh can kill him. Claire has already told Black Jack Randall the day... And year of his death, and that's coming up, I assume, in this next episode, episode number 13. And that's the one I'm going to be watching now. And then I'm on to season 3. So let's go ahead and jump into episode 13, the season finale, for season 2 of Outlander. We will raise this child as our own, yours and mine. That's right. Well, she was uh, heading to America. And when she stepped off the plane, they were in Paris in the 1740s. Where was she going in America? New York or Boston? It's been a very long time since I've seen this show. That's it. Happened to be passing by. I thought I'd drop in. And she played on uh, in Outlander. in the wrist and I think she just I know she just passed away here very recently Friendly within the last four months there doesn't appear to be any cream. cream it's a bit of a culture shock to be back here in the 20th century now glasses let's be clinking if you hadn't put other out I try there's Claire tonight we'd not be drinking <laughs> the Reverend Still wearing her wedding band from Jamie. Your father was such a delightful man. I'll always remember his sense of humor. Thank you. The Reverend helped so many people. He'll be sorely missed. As far as we can, and then stop at a pub for the night. There's plenty of room here if you'd like to stay. Oh, we couldn't possibly impose. Ugh, you wouldn't be. In fact, I'd welcome the company. It's a big house. Sounds better than jolting down the wrong side of the road in the dark. Besides, it'll give me a chance to take in the sights. I hear it's a beautiful, wild country. All right. Uh, just so long as we're no bother. I'll fetch your bags from the car. The guest room is just... Top of the stairs. I remember. Hmm. She seems a little smitten, maybe. Maybe. 
course he did too. My true name is Roger McKenzie. My parents were Jerry and Marjorie McKenzie. Huh. The Reverend adopted me after they were killed in World War II. So he was McKenzie. a Mackenzie. I used to know quite a few Mackenzies. Once upon a time. It's a common name here. So I wonder if he's related to the Mackenzies from Leoch. One side. Four more, George. There's only one thing left. Impossibility. What's that? Not here. <laughs> the way they switch back and forth sometimes, I'll tell you. <laughs> You go from the 1740s to the 1960s. One of my earliest memories is dropping an ice cream cone off the ramparts of Fort Ticonderoga while he held forth on the heroics of Ethan Allen and the Green Mountain Boys. Ethan Allen. I regret I have but one life to give. Nathan Hale. <laughs> Common mistake. Never quote He's trying American to impress her and got it wrong. To an American. <laughs> The Revolutionary War is practically a religious text in Boston. Well, with George Washington as the Messiah and uh, Benedict Arnold as Judas, no doubt. Benedict Arnold is a deeply misunderstood historical figure. I thought you didn't like military history. We oui, Randalls are a very complicated <laughs> clan, laddie. Benedict Arnold is a name <laughs> synonymous with traitor. <laughs> I knew you belonged here with me since the first time I laid eyes on you. Come and let us live, my dear. Let us love and never fear. And let amorous kisses dwell on our lips, begin and tell. A thousand and a hundred score, a hundred and a thousand more. In that situation, it must be a very surreal experience to be there 200 years later and to see it in that state after having lived there. Yeah. He took his own life. Clear that a mortal sin. He wanted a quick and peaceful death, and I gave it to him. Charles has been suffering with scurvy for weeks, and I've been treating him regularly with tinctures. I could put this in a tea. Kill Charles Stewart. Hmm. They should have thought of that in Paris. The way it works would be like drifting into a deep sleep. You would never know. No one would ever know. Yeah, they should have thought of that in Paris. Do you have any memory of an incident that happened with my parents when they were here? How do you mean, incident? Something big that happened between them when they were here staying with your father. I was just a wee lad. I put the letter hmm. back in the box, locked it, and never looked at it again. That's clear. Well, my father kept a journal. Of course, and reappearance. I wrote it every night after supper. There's boxes of them in the storage room if you wouldn't mind getting a bit grubby. Grubby doesn't bother me. You should see my bedroom. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I, it uh, didn't. I get your meaning. <laughs> you have to come at once. I'll call in the men to form lines. Aye, on my way. We would need to move quickly. I could put this in his tea now and give it to him. Hyal, you ungrateful son of a bastard. <laughs> you filthy whoring witch. Hmm. <laughs> Dougal listening at the door heard the whole thing. 
And what's that thing inside there? Hmm, not sure. Looks like a dragonfly, maybe? Oh, that's that was the thing that the uh, the man that can't talk Mon Monroe gave her. The murder of your brain. No, Dugu, you have to shut your mouth. <laughs> I can't. You were a traitor the first time I clapped eyes on you. Easy now. You see, Jenny, you place your trust in someone, you know, and yeah. You give in to them. You give in to them with your heart and your soul. And for you to then plan the murder of our beloved prince. Clear is my wife. You'll no speak ill of her, even in your anger. And uh, And uh, Oh no. What you've done to me. My past anger. You're tired to go cold and hungry. Leave now. <laughs> Well, I said a couple of episodes ago they were going to come to a come to a a fight. Yeah, there you go. She's going to help. Well, I didn't expect that end for Dougal. Kind of expected he would die at Culloden, but not at Jamie's hands. Jamie and Claire's. But what else could they have done? They really had no choice. How long since anyone's been in this place? Ages, I expect. Are these his journals? Aye. Aye, if there was anything here about what happened back in 1948, we should be able to find it. Culloden marked the end of the clans. The end of the Highlander way of life. So is this really the Culloden battlefield? Are you a Fraser? Yes. I am. Not in the way that woman meant it, I'm sure. <laughs> I've come with good news. You have a daughter. Brianna. Named after your father. Just as I promised. Did I miss it when she Jamie, became pregnant again? Do I don't die. remember that. I must have missed that. Did she? Did, does safe. Jamie know that she was pregnant? But sometimes, when she turns and the light catches her red hair, or I see her smile in her sleep, it takes my breath away because I see you. She was born seven fifteen. On a rainy Boston morning. And that's everything. Everything I can remember. See no tears. But you didn't think I could do that, did you? That day at Craig Nadoon, we said a lot of things. There was one thing I didn't say, couldn't. I haven't for 20 years. Rest easy, soldier. Yeah, I don't remember the episode where she told Jamie she was pregnant. Or did she tell Jamie she was pregnant? 